view of the uh, orbiter docking system with the ring extended. That obviously is the first contact with the docking port on the International Space Station. Once uh, all of the uh, dispersions have settled out after initial contact and capture, that uh, ring can be retracted back down into the orbiter docking system and whereby they can establish a good connection between the two spacecraft before beginning all of the um, necessary leak checks before hatch opening. Standing by to uh, reach the 30-foot point and uh, point at which uh, Commander Kelly uh, will stop the uh, initial progress, uh, forward progress of uh, Endeavour to allow all of the uh, plane alignments to take place before initiating the final approach to docking. A view looking through the centerline camera of the orbiter docking system, looking directly forward at the docking port on the International Space Station. Centered in that image is a uh, docking target that uh, allows for proper alignment prior to the uh, final push to dock. Copy, one degree in yaw. Fifteen feet. Approaching 10 feet, the orbiter uh, docking system in the lower portion of the view, the station's docking port, the pressurized mating adapter attached to the Harmony module of the International Space Station at the top of the view. You also see the European Space Agency uh, laboratory.
25 feet. Standing by for contact and capture. Endeavour Houston, station free drift confirmed. Copy, free drift confirmed. Uh, Houston Endeavour station is free drift. At 5.14 a.m. Central Time, 6.14 this morning, Eastern Time, at one day, 21 hours and 18 minutes into Endeavour's flight, uh, Space Shuttle Endeavour has arrived at the International Space Station. Endeavour has sailed into safe harbor for the 12th time. The uh, docking came uh, with Endeavour in the International Space Station just to the east of uh, Chile, tracking northeasterly across the uh, eastern Pacific. Endeavour Houston, air to ground two. We are go for step three in the docking sequence cue card. Okay, copy is step three and work. With the uh, docking now, the uh, plan is to allow any uh, movement, any dispersions to settle out for a while until that uh, docking ring is retracted. And Houston, we are ready for step four, if you concur. We need just a few more seconds. Go for step four and docking sequence cue card. In work. Space Shuttle Endeavour arrived at the International Space Station 14 minutes after the hour. The ring uh, has been fully retracted now, and now the uh, hooks are uh, driving to the closed position to create a tight seal between Endeavour and the International Space Station. 
Very smooth uh, rendezvous today uh, by the crew of Endeavor, uh, particularly the manual flying of Commander Mark Kelly. Following the uh, R-bar pitch maneuver, the uh, maneuver to allow station crew members to uh, gather photography uh, imagery of the uh, space shuttle. All of that will be uh, sent to the ground as soon as possible for analysis by the imagery analysis team here in Mission Control. Complete through step four. And the um, he then uh, transitioned to manual flying up the uh, to in front of the station for the final approach to docking. The docking uh, coming as the two spacecraft uh, tracked off the uh, west coast of Chile, tracking northeasterly. And then with uh, final approach and contact and capture occurring at 5.14 a.m. Central, 6.14 this morning Eastern Time. Endeavor and uh, its six-person crew settling in uh, for a uh, more than 10 days of joint operations uh, between the shuttle crew and the station crew, the Expedition 27 crew of six, ready to uh, welcome its uh, visitors with uh, Commander Dmitry Kondratyev, Flight Engineers Paolo Nespoli, Katie Coleman, Andrei Borisenko, Alexander Samokutyev, and uh, Ron Guerin. One of the first uh, tasks after the crews uh, open the hatches and, and conduct a uh, welcome ceremony will be to uh, uh, major order of business will be to remove the express logistics carrier that you see the shuttle's robotic arm attached to, uh, hand that off to the station robotic arm, and then it will be um, attached to the outside of the uh, station, uh, attached onto the P3 truss element. It is uh, delivering uh, extra supplies and spares to the International Space Station uh, for long-term storage stowage uh, for use later on when they uh, become uh, necessary. In the back end of uh, Endeavour's payload bay is the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer. It will be placed on the uh, right side or on the on starboard side of the station's truss structure. It's a high-tech uh, antimatter uh, science instrument. That will find uh, its permanent home at the International Space Station.